Somnath Bharti's links to Top Sites LLC. Delhi Law Minister Somnath Bharti has consistently denied being connected with Top Sites LLC, a company that was listed as one of the world's top 200 spammers by Spam House in 2005. Around 10 years ago, I linked Mr. Barty and his business associate Paul Onger with Top Sites, a company that was sending out spam messages to webmasters to try to get them to pay for a listing in the Top Sites directory. Top Sites sent out fake renewal notices for the directory, a directory that nobody had chosen to be listed in, and was instead a copy of data from the Open Directory project. Some of the notices were very intimidating. However, despite evidence that I compiled at the time, Somnath Bharti emailed me to deny all knowledge of Topsides LLC. Specifically, he said, To my utter surprise, you have been having this article on your site accusing me of being related to a company I have heard of only through your article. Please have the same removed ASAP and explain to me what made you write all this about a person not even remotely attached to such a company. Mr. Barty's flat denial of being connected with Top Sites LLC was somewhat at odds with the copy of the business card that I received, clearly stating that Somnath Barty was claiming to be CEO and listing his address. But Mr. Barty himself listed one of the Top Sites LLC domains, twotopsites.com, on his personal webpage, somnathbarty.com, in late 2003 something that can be seen clearly by using the Internet Archive at archive.org. Mr. Barty is using an email address of somnath at twotopsites.com as well as somnath at magin.com, clearly meaning that he has a connection to twotopsites.com. We can use the same Internet Archive to grab a copy of twotopsites.com from the same time. And this is a site that clearly identifies itself as Top Sites. It's also identical to the main Top Sites domain at the time of Top Sites US in every single detail. It doesn't just look the same. If you are a subscriber to DomainTools.com, you can see domain who is records and hosting histories for sites going back several years. We can easily see that two topsites.com and topsites US were often on the same IP address. And sorry if this is a bit technical, but we can also see that the name server records for two topsites.com also clearly reference topsites US. The Domain Tools Historical Who Is Records for two topsites.com clearly identify Topsites LLC as the owner in 2003. And conversely, the records for the Top Sites US domain in 2004 also clearly identify Somnath Bharti as the contact. Over the years it was running, the Top Sites operation changed LLCs and domain names on a regular basis, but I was surprised to see that there was still a copy of this running on a website called allwebhunt.com as late as 2014, hosted on the same IP address as somnathbharti.com. The domain tool screenshot clearly shows both servers on 119.82.71.132. Allwebhunt.com is interesting because a surprising amount of data is open to the public, including invoices for hundreds of dollars as late as 2008, as well as personal contact details of customers. Also accessible with no security at all were some of the internal employee records, including one for Mr. Barty himself. Unfortunately, Mr. Barty couldn't quite purge all the references to top sites from allwebhunt.com, which is still clearly copied in part from the original Top Sites LLC sites. The evidence of a connection is pretty overwhelming, but what evidence is there of spamming? You can find many contemporary spam reports about unsolicited emails from Mr. Barty's Magin Solutions by going to Google Groups and searching for Magin. There are several spam reports made at the time clearly linking Magin to spamming activities. Mr. Barty admits owning Magin and it seems unlikely that this would have been happening without him knowing about it. And this activity was going on from Magin IP ranges until at least 2006. 
The evidence against Mr Barty seems to be overwhelming, and yet he's publicly denied any connection to Top Science LLC. His name and his company's name appear in too many places to be a coincidence, and these records go back ten years or more, way before he got involved in politics. Are Mr Barty's denials credible? Decide for yourself.